Hey guys, let us crochet this beautiful sweater designed by Gründel. You will need approximately 300 to 350 gram cotton yarn. For this pattern it is recommended to use the Gründel cotton wood. This is a great organic yarn, but I am using Gründel cotton fun, color pink. You also need a crochet hook. I am using a Clover Soft Touch 3.5 mm and you also need a tapestry needle. Please find all the links in the description box below. We start crocheting the back part of our sweater. First make a slip knot. Create a circle, put the long strand under the circle and pull it through the circle. You'll get the loop. Insert your hook into the loop and tighten. Make sure it's not too tight. Now chain 81 stitches. To chain stitches yarn over and pull through. Make sure that your stitches are loose. These are my 81 stitches. For the next row we start with a wrong double crochet. Pull out your last loop. Wrap this stitch over your hook. Yarn over and pull up a loop. You have two loops on your hook. Yarn over again and pull through two. This is your wrong double crochet. Now we crochet double crochets. Yarn over. Insert your hook through the stitch. Yarn over. Pull through two. You have two loops left. Yarn over. Pull through two. Continue doing this until the end of the row. This is my first row and now we will crochet the second one. Start with the wrong double crochet. Then one double crochet. From now on I am going through both loops. Now chain 1 and skip 1 stitch, then crochet 3 double crochets. Now again chain 1, skip 1 stitch and 3 double crochets. Continue this way until the end of the row. This is how your work should look like. For row 3 we crochet only double crochets. You start again with the wrong double crochet and the rest only double crochets. If you have a space then crochet just through it. After row 3 we will crochet the main part. This is the triangle pattern. For row 1 chain 8 stitches. Now skip 4 stitches and crochet 1 single crochet. To crochet a single crochet pull up a loop. You have 2 loops on your hook. Yarn over and pull through 2. From now on we chain always 7 stitches. Then skip 4 stitches and crochet a single crochet through the 5th stitch. Repeat this until the end of the row. For row 2 we chain 5 stitches and turn our work. Now crochet 4 double crochet through the chain space. Then chain 1 and 4 double crochets through the next chain space. Repeat this until the end of the row. Please have a look at the sewing pattern to have a good orientation. At the end of the row we crochet a treble crochet. For this yarn over twice. 
Insert your hook through the first chain stitch and yarn over. Pull up a loop. You have four loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull through two. You have three loops left. Yarn over, pull through two. You have two loops left. Yarn over and pull through two. Now you're done with row one and two. And this is also your triangle pattern. You alternate between row one and two. I reached a length of 55 centimeters for the triangle pattern. These are 46 rows. Now we have to crochet one row chain spaces and then we will finish the back part. We chain 8 stitches again and continue as usual, but only for 6 segments. After these six segments, we will slip stitch over the next four segments. For the last 6 segments, crochet 6 chain spaces as usual. For the back row, start as usual with 5 chain stitches. Turn your work and crochet 4 double crochets into each chain space of the next 5 chain spaces. At the 6th chain space, we crochet only one double crochet through the middle of the chain. Back row will be only single crochets. For this chain 1, turn your work and start at the 2nd chain. At the end of your row, cut the yarn and pull it through the last stitch and tighten. For the opposite side, we will start at the inner chain space. Insert your hook through the middle of the chain. Pull through the yarn and tie a knot. Now pull up a loop through the same stitch. Start with the wrong double crochet. If you don't like this, chain 3 stitches instead. Then chain 1 and crochet 4 double crochets in each chain space. Always one chain stitch in between. Finish this row also with one treble crochet as usual. Chain 1, turn your work and single crochet across the row. Then you're done with your back part. The front part is very similar to the back part. You have a 40 cm length for the triangle pattern. Your straps are longer. One strap is done. I will show you how to do the second. After the slip stitching part, I already tied a knot to the inner chain. Now we pull up a loop and crochet a wrong double crochet. Then you have again your four double crochet through each chain space. After this row, we start also by chaining eight stitches. Crochet across as usual and create your chain spaces. After this row, we start by chaining 5 stitches and crochet the triangle pattern as usual. Repeat these steps until your front part is as long as your back part. I have 16 rows for each strap on the front. Finish each strap with one row single crochets. Then you can sew both parts together. 
So my parts are sewn and I will show you how to crochet the sleeves. For each sleeve opening you need a length of 19 cm. You have to measure it flat. The written pattern tells you to knit the sleeves but we will crochet. You can knit them of course if you want. We start at the armpit section. I already tied a knot. First we have to pull up a loop and then crochet a wrong double crochet. From now on we will crochet only double crochets. We have to find the stitches on our own. I work over three double crochets into the spaces and one double crochet in between. Finish each round by slip stitching. Start each round with a wrong double crochet. Make sure it's really tight. Then we have always a decrease. For this yarn over and insert your hook through the front loop and also through the next front loop. Yarn over and pull through two. You have three loops left. Yarn over pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Now crochet only double crochets across the round. Join each round with a slip stitch and don't forget to decrease every round. Decreasing will give you the sleeve shape. I have 10 rounds at all. If you finished your sleeves, we can work on the collar. We'll just crochet single crochets across the collar. After the collar, we can continue with the bottom part. For this, you have just to add some double crochet rounds to get your desired length. I will add three double crochet rounds. At the end, make sure to sew all your loose ends and then you're done. So thanks for watching. I hope this tutorial was helpful. Watch also other videos and don't forget to subscribe to be notified about new videos. Until next time, bye bye.